Our wet weather has been an issue all year for farmers here in West Michigan. Meteorologist Elena Nearing is here to show us what that means for this fall's harvest. Elena. That's right, Juliet. It's not been a good growing season for area farmers, and we've had several heavy rain events that started this spring, and it's kept fields very soggy. You can see the cornfields here just making a complete mess of all the things, and uh, it forced uh, farmers to either uh, wait a little bit in order to plant their crops or to abandon the fields completely for the year. So unfortunately, with the growing season coming to an end, they're hoping for uh, a prolonged growing season, waiting for the frost to hold off a little bit longer. So let's talk about some of the numbers. And this is our map, our graphic here, indicating the departure from average precipitation. You can see almost every month so far this year has seen a surplus of rain. And this is just for Grand Rapids. When you factor in across the state of Michigan, well, it's been a wet one, and as far as uh, wettest weather for the last, uh, for all the records, rather, uh, the wettest year on record, if the year ended today, would have been 1986. They ended up with 45.22 inches so far that year, and right now, again, to reiterate, if the year ended today, 2019 would be the second wettest year on record. And as I mentioned, it's not just us in Grand Rapids or really all of West Michigan. You had Northward and they have a surplus of rain for areas like Houghton Lake and also Traverse City. And moving farther to the north, we continue to have a lot of that heavy rain piling up. So as long as we have that prolonged stretch of warmer weather and the fact that that frost is holding off, that's going to mean that the farmers have a little bit longer time for them to reap the benefits of what few crops that they received. And we're going to be seeing that potential for a little bit better harvest, hopefully next year.